Hi, this is Shwadi Sarkar and in this video I'm going to give you the assignment which is based on lists and I mean primarily based on lists because you know this assignment will take all the things that you have learned previously which includes if else, which inc includes uh, loops, which includes functions, all those things, okay? Now, <clears throat> this assignment contains 95 of the things, 95 percent of the things with which you are already familiar with. but there are very minor things that you that you do not know or may not know okay so why do i do this always you may ask uh, that uh, that why do you give things that you haven't shown the reason or you can say the objective is to make you an independent python developer and what do i mean by independent i mean that you know as a python developer you one cannot expect to know everything inside Python, okay? Python is a very big language, okay? And it's not at all possible to complete everything. There will be times that you will see there are things that you do not know or uh, you have never seen that in your life before. So what should you do? Should you sit back and relax and say, I cannot do it, leave it? No, that's not how a positive independent Python developer works. An independent Python developer always searches for the answer. Your curiosity will make the project. Okay. In fact, uh, me, okay, I don't know all the things in the Python. To be very honest, okay, Python is a vast language, and I don't know everything. Now, what happens when I encounter a situation where I do not know a particular thing? Should I sit back and say, "Oh my God, I, I don't know this, and I won't do this"? No, that's a negative mindset. Okay. In that way, you cannot move up in your life in, a, in any aspect, not in programming, not in Python, in any aspect, you cannot grow. If you want to grow, you must get out of your comfort zone. Once you get out of your comfort zone, you can find the answer, else you cannot. And only those who get out of the comfort zone can win in life. So I want you guys to search up the internet. There is a huge resource, okay? which contains almost everything. You guys have to go to the internet and search the topics, the, how to do these things and all, okay? And I want you guys to find out the solution by yourself. But do not worry, I have, you know, I always give you the solution videos, you can always watch it. But before that, before that, you have to go and search the internet about what the solution is. And even if you are wrong, that doesn't matter. You know, your tries matter. Okay, you tried and that, you know, that's what matters. It's not that you must be right, you must be correct. Okay, that's not the thing. And uh, there is a saying that if you always seek for perfection, your life will be ruined. So do not seek for perfection. Seek for the answer. You know, let the inner beast of curiosity out. That's the goal. Now, in this project, this is basically a game or uh, kind of game in, in which you are going to use lists. So I have already done the code, but I am sorry I cannot show you the code right now because I want you guys to try it on your own. So let's start the code. Let's run the script and see what happens. So I give the interpreter's name and I say X. Okay, this is my location. Start it. Okay. It starts with this tagline, choices, the name of the game. A game with love from team by evolution. And these are the game rules. There are two players in the game. You need to enter the details that are asked. If both of you have 70% or more common interests, then you guys are a match and you win. Game starts now. Player 1, it's your turn. What's your name? So my name is Shubhodip. What's your favorite color? Well, it is red. What's your favorite food? Uh, <laughs> 
burger. What's your favorite music genre? Metal. Which animal do you want as a pet? Well, obviously dog. What's your favorite show? Lucifer. Player 2, now your turn. So, player 2, haha. <laughs> uh, well, let's make it so early. What's your favorite color? Let's say uh, blue. What's your favorite food? Let's say momos. Let, and what's your music, gen, music genre? Let's say classical. Which animal do you want as a pet? Let's say cats. Or let's say cat. What's your favorite TV show? I say Lucy Fur. Oops. Shubhadeep and Swarnali have only 20% choices in common. Game over. <laughs> That's really sad. <laughs> okay, now let's run the thing again. Now, do you now? Did you notice that you know it's asking the same question? It's asking the same question every single time. And once a player completes all the question, it says player two. Now your turn. Okay. And now the player two will enter all the details as well. Now you you can actually play with your siblings or maybe your girlfriend or maybe your boyfriend. Or maybe your best friend. Okay. <clears throat> Again, what's your name? My name is. Okay. What's your favorite color? My favorite color this time, let's say green. Okay. Green. What's your favorite food? This time, this time, pizza. What's your favorite music genre? Let's say rock. As a pet, let's say cat. TV show, let's say friends. What's your name? This time it's Sudip. What's your favorite color? I'm really sorry, Sudip. I, I really do not know your favorite color. But let's assume it to be blue. What's your favorite food? Let's say pizza. All in capital letters. Notice these things. It's all in capital letters. What's your favorite music genre? Let's say rock. Okay, let's say rock. Okay, in a stylish way. Right? So this is uppercase, this is lowercase, this is uppercase, this is lowercase. Which animal do you want as a pet? So let's say cat. What's your favorite TV show? Again, I don't know. So let's assume it to be sacred games. Okay. So Shubhadeep and Sudip only have 60% choices in common. Game over. But did you notice the 60% that it is calculating are based on these things? Pizza, pizza, rock, rock, <coughs> cat, cat. Okay. These things are common, but did you notice that this is uppercase, this is lowercase, this is uppercase, but here all the things are in lowercase. So how can you compare these things? Now that's what you have to find out. That's what I haven't shown yet. And that's the trick here. You have to find out that. Okay. As you can see, it is all in lowercase, but here it is in uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase, but it's still a match. How can I do it? Find it out. It's all in uppercase, it's all in lowercase, but it's still a match. How can you do it? Find it out. <laughs> so now, let's say I have a... Okay. Again, the favorite color is red. Favorite food, burger. Favorite music genre, let's say pop. Pet dog. TV show. Um, Let's think. Punisher. Player 2, what's your name? Let's say Shreshta. Okay. What's your favorite color? Well, red. Burger. Okay, no, uh, not, not burger, let's say pizza. What's your music genre? Pop. Dog. And punch. So all the things are same except this one, right? 
Turkey's pizza, Hedisburg. Let's see what happens. Yeah, <laughs> it says congratulations. Shubhadeep and Shrestha have 80% choices in common. Game one. Nice. So that's what you have to do. I I hope now it is clear. And uh, well, for a hint, let's let's give a hint. Should I give a hint? Well, this thing and this thing are actually a function. Okay, that's a function. And <laughs> I won't say all the things. Okay, you have to you have to you know find it out on your own. I have just given the hints. Yeah, you you need. Okay, so best of luck for the assignment. I hope you guys can do it. At least I hope so because you guys are intelligent. Enough. That's what I believe. So till then, goodbye guys. See you in the next video. Bye. Namaste.